everybody in here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you lovely people. And I've noticed I've got a few more subscribers than I used to. So welcome to all the new people. I hope you like it here. Right now, it is so freezing cold, but um, just one more day, really one more day of these cold temperatures. It's actually going to get up to 42 degrees today. <sighs> this is wearing me down. I'm sure you guys can tell, but I'm getting through it. I'm getting through it a lot better than I thought I would uh, with this freak show of a, you know, weather event. But um, I'm getting plenty of water. Oh, I did find my big pot. <laughs> Finally, it's over there on the wood-burning stove. Here, let me show you. Yep, I found my pot. It's on my wood-burning stove. I've been melting snow. Yeah, there's a little bit of dirt down in the bottom of it. But I suppose there's a little dirt in the snow sometimes. So I've been using this water for the chickens and for the dog. And I filter it, uh, you know, for clean drinking water and whatnot. So this is working so much better. I just keep this pot on the stove at all times. I got to go outside and check the chickens. I giving them a little bit of my dinner from last night, leftovers. It's just kind of like a stew um, with ham in it. Oh, I don't want to go outside, but you know what? It's really weird. It's not as cold today as it was yesterday, but for some reason I just feel colder. I don't know. Maybe I'm coming down with something. Uh, so I'll take you on along when I go out and see the chickens, and if anything else interesting happens, well, I'll let you know. All right, let's see if these chickens will even come out of their coop today. Yeah, looks like it. Well, oh, there's one more. They're eating their breakfast. I wonder if the other one is in there laying an egg. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get up on this. Somebody's in there laying me an egg. That's a good girl. Let's see what their water looks like. Their water is, of course, a mess. Yeah, that's too solid. I'm going to bring them some new water and switch this out. It's dirty anyway. Did she just do it? There's already two leghorn eggs underneath there. I don't know if she, she's done or not. We'll see in a minute though. Hey, I'm not going to stand out here forever. <laughs> I think she just laid an egg. I just took two leghorn eggs out. Yep, they both laid eggs and Coco just got up in the nesting box. I don't know if she's going to lay next. She hopped out when I started talking though. Oh. They're all out. Checking things out. These chickens are so much fun. Yeah, I'm going to dump that out. I put clean water inside. How you doing, Romeo? How you doing, pretty boy? Look at that big old comb. All of their combs are just so red. Very, very healthy chickens. Yes, indeed. What's going on in here? Oh, we got Roxy eating snow, you weird chicken. What's going on, guys? <sighs> Chickens are so much fun, you guys. Looks like Romeo's been eating snow, too. Who's going to lay an egg next? Well, let's see if they can get... Yeah, they can reach their heads down in there. Yeah, it's just fine. You going to lay an egg... egg? Next, Miss Pris. She's checking out the nesting box. Who knows? I'll let you know. As the day goes by, I'm so tired I can't even think straight. Go on in, girl. Yep. Yep, she's going in. The sunshine, once again, feels so good. It's freezing cold, but just having that sun on me just... Whew, that helps so much. So I'm going to sit out here in the freezing cold in the sun again. I don't know if anything else interesting will happen. If it does, if it doesn't, <laughs> Ugh, I am exhausted, you guys. Whoa. 
what's he digging for? <laughs> like I said yesterday, this boy just loves it. Loves, loves, loves being out here in the freezing. He's digging up something. Ho hopefully it's a buried treasure. <laughs> Good boy, Papa. Well, I'm back inside. I'm just trying to stay warm. It's starting to warm up, though. Thank goodness. I haven't checked the chickens yet for more eggs, and I'm just looking at my hair, and it's like, yeah, I just took my hat off. I have bad hair. Let's just face it. Anyhow, on my last video, you guys gave me some great ideas about the solar panels and how to protect the... Um, cords and whatnot especially the pvc pipe one that was great um you know what's weird i didn't even think about that um i did have like cardboard underneath of them <laughs> for a little bit and there's a piece of wood out there too but um eventually once i decide where the permanent place for the uh solar panels is going to be i'm gonna take the cables out through the wall not through the window anymore so um when i make that decision and make the hole through the wall then I will probably do the PVC pipe thing, and um, I don't think that I'll bury them. I just don't think that I'll do that. Uh, I'll figure it out, but I, I need to find a way to not step on them, not trip over them, and not let the elements get to them, especially where they connect. The good thing is, is the connections that where they connect the, the inside wires to the outside, they are um, underneath the underneath the solar panels so at least there's that but yep you guys giving me something to think about i'm so tired i am so tired i mean not just tired of the snow but just physically tired so i'm gonna take a nap um and just start this all again tomorrow i think it's gonna start snowing i mean not snowing thawing out tomorrow um because it's supposed to get up near i think i think 60 i am pretty sure so I'm keeping my fingers crossed for that. I am just so tired. Anyways, uh, you know, I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.